You look I incredible. <laughs> you look so good, baby. Let's hide and take cover. The rain is not over. I had to end. Not yet. Darling. Emily, I promise that I will always be your rock. Your person to lean on and trust. Someone that you can confide in at all times. I promise to be the spiritual leader in the household and always point us to Christ. <laughs> Emmy, I promise that I will put you first no matter what. There will always be ups and downs, highs and lows, but we will get through it together. Oh my, you look beautiful, baby. <laughs> you look like a princess. You are so pretty. Love you. I love you too. I vow to be faithful to you and honest with you in all times. I promise to laugh with you in the good and comfort you in the bad. I will always support you, your dreams, and your crazy ideas. I vow to sacrifice my needs and my wants before yours and to put our marriage above everything else. I promise to love you, hug you, and kiss you every day and to choose you and only you. I promise to help you grow into the person that God has called you to be. I want you to know that you have my heart today, tomorrow, and always. May we look back at these vows and see that all of these promises hold true. I love you more than words could possibly describe. Your man, your love. You are an answer to my prayers, and I will spend the rest of my life thanking God for loving me enough to send me his very best. I promise to be your helper and to honor you as the spiritual leader. I will cover you in prayer. I vow to always be your partner, lover, and best friend for as long as we both shall live. I mean, as I sit here writing this letter to you in preparation for the biggest day of our lives, I think about all that we have accomplished together and how my heart has grown for you all along the way. I think about our first date and how I could not wait to pick you up from the airport. I think about how beautiful you are sitting in front of me at Town Brewing and I think about how I couldn't wait to see you again when we said goodbye. I think about how my heart pounded as we held hands for the first time and when you kissed me first. You are the man that I prayed for and asked God to bring me, and I will forever praise him for my biggest blessing, you. Thank you for being my rock, my anchor, for keeping me grounded when I feel like I might otherwise blow away. Thank you for making fun of me when I deserve it and for loving me when I don't. It is an absolute privilege and honor to call you my husband, and I'm so excited to see what the Lord has in store for us. I love you more than words can say. You will forever be my sweet baby boy. I think about the warmth of your touch, your hand against my face, and your embrace that I wish would never end. I think about the amount of incredible joy, excitement, and adventure that you have brought into my life. Most importantly, you brought me closer to God. Today is the first day of the rest of our lives, you and me becoming one. And for as long as my heart beats, it beats for you. I love you now and forever for as long as I live. this woman to be married to this man today? Her mother and I. Nick and Emily, your marriage is a picture of the cross. Your roles as husband and wife are cooperating reflections of the cross. And how you love each other in the hard times comes from a love of the cross. Jesus has shown you his great love by giving himself up for you. Now you get to testify to the message of the cross to the world as you give yourself up for one another day after day in your life as husband and wife. 
what an opportunity and what a gift. Oh, I'm arranging, oh, I'm arranging you to be. Be changed, I am arranged, oh, I am arranged. By the power vested in me and by God's church, it is my joy to now pronounce you husband and wife. Nick, you may kiss your bride. I now present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Nick Lindy. About a year after Emmy and Nick had been dating, Nick asked if he could stop by the house for a beer. I figured at the time he was going to ask for Emily's hand in marriage. Nick and I sat out on the back porch and had a beer, but nothing about marriage. And as we got to the end of the second beer, I was thinking, maybe he just wants dinner. But as I got up, he told me how much he loved Emily and promised he would take good care of her the rest of her life. Knowing the man Nick is, I'm confident he will follow through on that. And Emily, I couldn't be prouder of the woman you have become. It has and always will be a great honor to be your dad. I will always be here for you, Emily, but in many ways the torch, the torch is now passed. Join me in toast for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Nick Lindy. Emmy, I can't say how much you mean to me. There is a special bond between the two of us. I love your bravery, the joy you bring to people every single day. You inspire your little sister, and I'm so, so proud of everything that you have accomplished and will accomplish. Nick, from the moment that I met you, you have shown me nothing but kindness to my sister, myself, and my family. You make friends with everyone you come in contact with. You were driven and caring, and I can't imagine anyone else for my sister. Nick, I think you were incredibly lucky to be marrying our, my sister. But Emily, there must be some luck on our family side too, because I cannot believe how lucky I am to be gaining such an incredible brother-in-law. But as the best man and the father of the groom, I am honored to be one of the first to congratulate the newlyweds. Emmy, you are the woman who has won the heart of our little boy. For all the prayers we've prayed for Nicholas's happiness, you, Emmy, are truly the answer to those prayers. Congratulations, cheers.